Good afternoon, and today, thanks to the Kennedy Center Couch Concerts, we will get to travel around the state of Texas and sample one of the traditions we are proud of, accordion music. The accordion is central to the story of Texas music history, as well as some of our most vibrant cultural traditions here in Texas. My name is Sarah Rucker, and I'm the director of two of Texas Folklife's longstanding programs, the Big Squeeze Accordion Contest and Accordion Kings and Queens Concert, which is held annually in Houston. So today we are honored to be able to present to you three top-notch Texas-based musicians for you. And we will begin at the furthest, uh, furthest southernmost point of Texas, and that is Brownsville, Texas. So now I'd like to welcome Juan Longoria Jr. and his son Juan III, who will give us an acoustic version of Conjunto Music from South Texas. How's it going, guys? Uh, my name is Juan Longoria Jr., my son Juan Longoria III. We're very happy to have this opportunity to, to perform uh, our traditional Tex-Mex, Conjunto Norteño, Regional music from South Texas. Um, thank you for the opportunity. I know we're gonna have two other guest musicians uh, uh, from Seguin in Houston, and uh, uh, so it's gonna be a good show. Thank you guys for once again for reaching out to us. Uh, this I was born into it basically. Uh, my father plays accordion. He showed me uh, my tios. They sing. They play. My cousins. You name it. So. Um, I was literally born into it and I love it and uh, it's uh, truly an honor to to be representing uh, my family in this sense uh, Brownsville Texas uh, we're right next to Matamoros Tamaulipas it's a border town uh, really strong ties with our Mexican American cultures I mean uh, we have the best of both worlds that's what I that's just my opinion but it's uh, uh, I truly believe what we we're blessed to have that, that uh, las dos culturas aquí de México, de, de Estados Unidos. So um, we're going to start out with the Chotis. I know we got it from the Europeans way back, over 100 years ago or, or so. So uh, we're Chotis, y una polquita también. And then we're going to do about four or five songs. And then uh, we're going to pass it on to Isaac from CD Texas as well. So once again, thank you, Kelly Center. Thank you, Texas Folk Live and, and uh, all the staff that, that's that are uh, involved in this project. So thank you. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
porquitas. Hope you guys enjoy it. Aquí como dice en el valle, para pa que bailen en toda la orillita. That's what they say here in the valley, South Texas. So, Juan Longoria Jr. once again, Bronzo, Texas. My son, Juan Longoria III. And uh, we're going to continue with a couple more pieces. Uh, we're going to do Guapango. Para los que no saben que es un Guapango. Yo sé que la raza del valle sí. Si sabe. Pretty sure all the state of Texas knows what a Wapango is. Uh, I said Texas, hope you guys enjoy it. There's, uh, this piece, my father composed it. Uh, it's done by Mr. Juan Longoria Sr. It's called El Nano. Uh, and then we're going to continue with Pica Tarantula. El Nano, it's one of my cousins, Rolando Longoria. I'm not sure if you've seen it or not, but saludos para Nano. Guapanguito y luego Pica Tarantula. So, here we go. party uh we're gonna continue we got about a couple more songs once again hope you guys enjoying it I, I know sarah mentioned to to brief about the music in general or, or and our, our our foundation here i, I would say bronzo texas uh my foundation like i said earlier my dad taught me the accordion uh de la palangana de este un lado de de Matamoros, Tamaulipas, este San Benito, este a cruzar San Benito, ahí está, este, so para toda la gente del valle, este, mis papás, este, por mi papá, mi, mi mamá es de aquí, pero mi abuela es de San Luis Potosí, so todos vinimos de, I don't care your second, third, fourth generation, somehow, some way, somehow we, we all, uh, we have that strong Mexican American culture in us and, uh, it's a blessing and in my opinion it's a true blessing to have that so um we're gonna sing a song una canción um que era por nombre palabra de hombre este escrita por josé alfredo jiménez muy popular aquí en el valle al estilo ya sea de valerio longoria dos libertos este pero aquí 
Mind you, it's the first time we sing ever, ever. We've never sang again. He's helping me out. He didn't want to sing, so we're gonna. A ver cómo nos escuchamos, okay? Normally I sing with my brother. Shout out to Federico Longoria. He's working with UPS right now. He's at the island, I think. Uh, so, uh, let's see how we do. Listo, bonito. Listo, bonito. Thank you. 
a couple of weeks ago, I think I said, uh, and um, first time playing it with my son together. So uh, we're going to play one more song once again. Thank you. Thank you, Texas Folk Life, for the opportunity. Kennedy Center, thank you. Um, I know that there might be some questions and answers after the whole segment, so um, if you want to leave some questions there, that's, you're more than welcome to do so. So once again, uh, from Brownsville, Texas, the furthest, furthest city uh, in Texas, basically, right next to the border, right next to Matamoros, Tamaulipas, uh, uh, Familia Longoria. Uh, I learned this from my dad, my uncles, his friends, todas las amistades que tenemos, colegas de músicos. Gracias, este, de todos aprendemos un poquito, and uh, pues nadie es más de nadie, este, todos somos iguales y los hay que procurar esto, la música, uh, ya sea conjunto regional, norteña, uh, tejana, lo que sea. I mean, we're all from Texas, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to play a song that I participated with in uh, 2007. It's, uh, some time back, he was this small. So, uh, uh, and uh, gracias a Dios, I was, I was able to come out winning on that big Swiss contest that Texas Folk Life does. So, back from 2007, it's basically a, a medley of different songs. Uh, we're going to start with the Grandfather Conjunto, uh, Narciso Martinez, Don Chicho Martinez, Una Porquita de él, and then we'll do Redoba, Guapangazo, y Una Porquita de Valero Longoria. So, este, we're just going to go through time through Texas, basically, through cities. And uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless. Uh, Juan Longoria Jr. I don't know if my son wants to say anything. Um, thank you to everybody who's, who's watching and uh, and took the time to, um, I guess, join us in this couch concert uh, hosted by, I guess, the Canyon Center and by Texas Folk Club. Thank you. Okay. A lo que puedo ver. Pero cómo no sale, ¿ok? Thank <laughs> you. 
titulado Evolución Musical. Your friends from Grupo Conteño, La Sección, Para Fara, y Yo Usar Arba. So, este, uh, once again, Juan Longoria Jr., Juan Longoria III. Hope you guys enjoyed it. From Brownsville, Texas, all the way to Washington, D.C., to Kennedy Center, Texas Folk Life in Austin, and all around, where, all around the world, basically. Internationally, wherever you guys are ch checking us out, stay, stay in tune right now. You're going to have two more special guests. So, uh, from Seguin and from Houston, Texas. So, once again, take care. God bless. Be safe out there. Uh, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much to Juan Longoria Jr. and Juan Longoria III. Um, I was here dancing in my chair, and I hope that you all at home are dancing around your living rooms or uh, at least... Uh, listening while you're working um, to that great Conjunto music that was born here in Texas. I'm not sure if you noticed his beautiful accordion had uh, the representation of the border that he lives and grew up on, um, which uh, plays a lot into this music. And please check out their full band that he mentioned, Grupo Conteño, that, that is a, a word that they came up with to represent Conjunto music, Tejano music, and Norteño music that they play all of. So uh, next up, we're gonna travel a bit north um, to central Texas. And this is a part of our state that since the early 19th century has been home to a lot of German, Czech and Polish um, immigration populations. And they brought with them polka music. So now I'd like to welcome our 2020 Big Squeeze polka champion. This is Isaac Wolfschul, AKA Isaac Klaus from Seguin, Texas. Guten Tag, hello everyone. Yes, my name is Isaac Klaus. I come from Seguin, just right outside of New Braunfels, Texas. And today, I will be playing some polka music for y'all. So now you might be asking, so, okay, Isaac, but why German music? I mean, I see that you're all dressed up in your lederhosen, there's Edelweiss and stuff all over your accordion, but why? So, like Sarah said, uh, there's a very, very large German population in Texas, particularly in central and south central Texas, where I live. So all these little settlements, you know, they have all these little fests and there's just a lot of places where there's live music. And so a lot of the music that we play is polka music. So a little back, so actually, <clears throat> excuse me. So in New Braunfels, there is a fest called Borscht Fest. And this is where I got introduced to polka music. See, growing up, uh, my family went there every single year. That was our big tradition. I look forward to it every year, just going there with my mom, my dad my brother, you know, just jamming out to some good polka music, some good waltzes, just that real traditional German music. And so it was kind of inevitable that one day I would pick up this music myself. You know, we always listen to it in the car, bought CDs, uh, used to sing it a lot as a kid. And so now I want to share that with y'all. So this first song that I'm going to be doing is a very well-known one. If y'all have ever heard polka music before, have you ever caught the Stray Lawrence Welk show, ever been to some kind of German fest, Czech fest, Polish Fest. You probably have heard this one. I know it by the name Wolsamunda. There's a lot of names for it. Like I said, this is probably one of the most well-known polkas. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
little song called Rosa Munde, very, very famous polka, German polka. And now, for a lot of us uh, people who do German music, that is not the only style we play. So, as you might have heard Mont saying earlier, um, some of their songs have European roots, and so actually German music and conjunto music uh, share a lot of the same roots and styles, and uh, um, that's not the only one. So, German music has not only been affected by conjunto music, but also Czech music as well. So, like Sarah said, there's a lot of uh, Czech towns out here too. Just east of New Braunfels, there's uh, some very large Czech communities. And so, their uh, traditional music is also very, very close to German music. So, it's just kind of natural that we would take some of their songs and they would take some of ours. And actually, we do so much of the similar music that, especially at the larger festivals, it is um, very common to see Czech bands at German festivals and uh, German bands at Czech festivals. So this next one that I'm going to be doing isn't actually a German song, but rather a Czech song that I learned from some of my Czech friends. Um, it's a really, really fun one. It's called the Shiner Polka. So for any uh, hardcore polka fans out there in the rest of the country, y'all might know this one as the Praha Polka. Here in Texas, though, it is called the Shiner Polka. It's named after a little Czech town called Shiner, uh, just about an hour away from New Braunfels. It's not too terribly far. And so what they actually did was they took the melody to the Praha Polka. They wrote their own Czech words to it. They wrote Texas Czech, a special dialect from around here of Czech. They put Texas Czech words to it, and, well, they named it after their own little town of Shiner. So that's the one I'm going to be playing today. Mason Nisbata, if you're watching right now, I hope this makes you proud. I learned this one from you. Around here, and man, it's just such a fun song. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, I learned that one off some of my Czech friends, and yeah, it's funny, they tell me, uh, I sing it like a German, <laughs> got a little German accent on there, but anyway, so yeah, German, uh, German music has shared a lot with the other cultures around here, so going back to uh, like the Conjunto, we actually have a song, I believe it is called Herr Schmidt, it's actually a Conjunto song that uh, German bands around here picked up, and uh, it's a pretty big audience participation song, kind of like the chicken dance. Um, but it's actually a conjunto song. But you know, polka isn't the only style we do around here. We also uh, we have a lot of waltzes. Uh, waltzes also play a very, very big role in traditional German music. And when the first German settlers came over here, they brought all that with them. So this one is called Du Du Lietz Mir in Herzen. It is a German love song. It's called You, You Lie in My Heart. And they've been playing this one ever since they first landed here. And well, we Texas Germans haven't ever stopped playing it. This is one that I used to sing a lot when I was little uh, on all those records and CDs in the car. And so I hope you all enjoy it. This is one of my favorite waltzes. And it was actually also one of the very first waltzes I learned. Again, if y'all have ever listened to German music, y'all probably have heard this one. It's a really big staple. And it's actually so popular around here that people who don't even do German music or really any kind of traditional music could probably either learn how to play it or at least know of it. So here we go, it's called Du Du Liegs Mir in Herzen. <laughs>
very traditional German adults, du du liegst mehr Medizin, the favorite around here of the German Omas to use as a lullaby. <laughs> a lot of people have had that one sung to them when they were little babies. So this next one that I'm going to be doing will be, uh, uh, be this one will probably a lot of y'all know, even if you haven't listened to German music. Um, and the reason is, is it was actually sung by Elvis. Never in a million years did I ever think that uh, doing traditional German music that I would ever do anything that was sung by Elvis. Uh, but yeah, he actually pinned the English words to this song. The German title is Muss ich den, and the English title is Wooden Heart. And when he was stationed in Germany, he just fell in love with this song, and he decided that it needed to be uh, shared more than just the German community, so he wrote the English words to it, and it's called Wooden Heart. I'm sure a lot of y'all know this one, so be sure to sing along with it. tradition. It's a really, really good program. Be sure to check them out on social media. They have a lot of really cool stuff. You don't want to miss out on that. And also, if you want to stay up to date with German music in Texas, be sure to check me out under Isaac Klaus Music. That's Isaac with a K, Klaus Music, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. And also, be sure to check out some of these other guys. They have a lot of really cool music, especially that Conjunto. I really like that. We have some awesome Cajun music coming up. Can't wait. Uh, listen a little bit during the sound check-in. And it made me want to go get some cardiac disc or something. <laughs> but be sure to stay and uh, don't leave. I'm going to get some awesome Cajun music. That'll be all for me for now. Thank you. Thank you so much to Isaac Klaus from Seguin, Texas. And Seguin is a beautiful little city southeast of San Antonio, if you all are visiting Texas. And so hopefully you're getting a taste of um, all that uh, Texas music has to offer. 
and feeling the the road trip that we're going on um, and getting to dance different types of dance and hear different things. So, so now we're gonna travel east um, to the biggest city in Texas, that's Houston, Texas. And uh, a lot of people know Zydeco music. Um, they've heard it in Louisiana or uh, think of Louisiana when you uh, think of Zydeco music but it's similar to Conjunto in that it really was uh, came about near a border, um, which is Texas and Louisiana. So um, Houston, Texas has a thriving Zydeco scene and I'm very excited to present to you today, Kian Dixon. Hey, <laughs> my name is Keon with Keon and the Zydeco Masters. Um, I'm local right here in Houston, Texas. Um, I want to send a special thank you to the Kennedy Center for putting this on couch concert. Um, a special shout out to Sierra Record and Texas Folk Life. And um, I'm getting ready to play my um, acoustic accordion. It's a Cajun accordion. Um, it's a Bonteen Cajun handcrafted in Iola, Louisiana. And um, I've been playing Zydeco um, for a little while now. Um, I won the uh, Kings and Queens of Accordions um, back in 2010. And I've um, been playing ever since um, professionally. And I'm um, going to give y'all some good um, authentic and traditional Zydeco from um, Southwest Louisiana. Um, everybody have their own opinion on uh, how Zydeco got to Texas. Um, uh, my history is um, uh, it started in, with the Catholics. Um, they came down from Louisiana, moved here to Texas, and they started um, having Zydeco dances um, at the Catholic churches here in Houston. And, um, and Zydeco just got real hot and popular um, right here in um, Texas and Louisiana. And um, it just got real, real snappy, like a big gumbo. It's got everything in it. And, and when you hear Zydeco, you got to get up and you got to move. So I'm going to give y'all something right now. <laughs> Like that, um, if you ever go to a Zydeco dance, 
They were, you were going to hear this song uh, played in any Zygo dance in Houston, Texas. It's a good shuffle song, and uh, it's a good song to get all the women up and get everybody in the groove. It's like a snap beat. It just get you right on up. <laughs> so um, I'm going to play another, another song for you. Um, I'm out of breath, as you see. Just playing, I just love, love that song. <laughs> Do another traditional uh, movie song. two of them. I got a black one and a red one, but it's electronic. Um, it does so much stuff to it's, it's just unreal, but um, the only way it play if it's plugged up. It's not a, like acoustic recording we did. You have to be plugged up to something, um, to a speaker or something like that. But um, I'm going to show y'all some, some things that it does and I'll play a song with it. I got a piano effect on here. That's why I love it. Um, it does so much stuff to it. just. It's unreal. Uh, but I'm gonna go to the accordion that sound, and I'm gonna play another traditional song. Some called paper in my shoe. I got a paper in my shoe. What your mama don't know, what your daddy don't like. I got a people in my shoe. I got a people in my shoe. What your mama don't know, what your daddy don't like. I got a people in my 
my shoe. I got a people in my shoe. What your mama don't know. What your daddy don't like. to my YouTube channel, let you know where we at each and every weekend, and um, play another song that I wrote um, a few years back on our Sugar Daddy album called Snapback. You can't do it in a snapback. You need a cowboy hat. You're going to do this. <laughs> Woo! Can't do it in a snapback. You need your cowboy hat. Can't do it in a snapback. You need your cowboy hat. You got your Levi's on. You think you really got it going on? It all really started. And it starts when it was on. That's the old school style. Try to make it act but wild. Cowboy boots and hat. We'll talk like that. Can't do it on a step back. You need your cowboy hat. Can't do it in a step back. You need your cowboy hat. Can't do it in snapback. You need your cowboy hat. Can't do it in snapback. You need your cowboy hat. You got to leave by the zone. You think you really got it going on? It all really started. And it started when it was on. That's the old school stop. Try to make you act for a while. Double boots and that. We'll talk like that. Can't do it in a snapback. You need your cowboy hat. Can't do it in a snapback. You need your cowboy hat. Thank you. I'm going to switch over accordions again. This here is my um, C accordion. Um, it's got a crawfish on the bellow. Um, handcrafted in um, Lafayette. Mr. Um, Martin. Martin accordion. This is a Martin accordion. Anytime you see a crawfish in a bellow, it's, um, nine times out of ten, it's a Martin. Um, he had that trademark, but this is a Martin. This is a C. And uh, I'm going to play another song for y'all. And Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for everybody from Dallas. Um, Everybody from Austin, everybody from all over the Kennedy Center, from all over the world that's watching this, thank you for watching and supporting um, this, this wonderful couch concert. I'm going to do one of my songs um, on the latest CD entitled Pack Another Bag. 
This is going to be behind a track, so um, you can purchase it on all major platforms. <laughs> Let me get it together. Thank you, Keon. Um, what a way to close out this show. I know it's uh, 5 p.m. on the East Coast, so maybe it's happy hour for some people. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you all for tuning in. Um, there are so many facets of each of the cultures surrounding these musical genres, the food, the music venues, the parties, the, the audiences, the families. So um, please uh, take the time to learn more about 
this um, music if you have heard something you've never heard before. And I hope that you now have a newfound love for the accordion. Um, and so thank you again for tuning in to the Texas edition of Kennedy Center and Millennium Stages Couch Concert presented today by Texas Folklife and Full Gallop. I um, encourage you to go to Texas Folklife's website, texasfolklife.org, and learn more about all the great work they're doing. We mentioned the Big Squeeze Accordion Contest, which just uh, concluded. And there's many great programs that uh, a lot of stuff that they're doing right now. So please tune go over to that website after the show and uh, follow us. And um, thank you again to Keon Dixon. Follow him at Keon on the Zydeco Masters and check them out when you're in Houston area. Isaac Klaus from Central Texas and Juan Longoria Jr. and Juan Longoria III from Brownsville, Texas. And thank you so much to the Millennium Stage crew, Charlie Lockwood and the staff of Texas Folklife and the Full Gallop team as well. Um, Y'all have a great day. And we'll see you in Texas soon.